Hello and welcome back to continue our previous discussion on governance systems and their role in enabling ethical, transparent and accountable business operation. We explored how professional body formulate rules and regulation that amended responsible practice into the core business. Governance is a critical in ensuring companies not only pursue profitable but also navigate their commercial journey responsibly considering environment and social responsibilities. Today corporate governance is evolving globally, emphasizing responsible leadership, ethical decision making and stakeholder protection. In India, the corporate sector is embracing governance as a pillar of trust and sustainable within the environmental, social and governance framework. Integrating ESG principle into corporate framework is essential for sustainable business practice. Governance in particular ensure ethical conduct, transparency and accountability, align business with sustainable principle while navig navigating growth responsible. It is crucial to understand business operation linked meaningful with country's ESG framework. This can help craft strategy that achieve not only commercial profitability but also environmental and social responsibilities. Such an approach provides a performance score at the stock exchange, easing investors' selection for better long-term investments and expanding business growth economies. Before describing the elements of governance of, for ESG strategy, Please allow me to share my two decades of industrial experience in evaluating environment impact assessment and corporate social responsibility as an environment and social expert approved under the QCI NABET scheme. My observations from these activities are now linked with corporate governance principle facilitating an understanding of governance elements in context to the ESG framework. Let me share my experience over the last two decades from 200 environment impact assessment projects, highlighting incidents that illustrate the governance practice observed in the various companies under the different circumstances. Company A. There was a lack of decentralization as even routine work required approval from the head office in Mumbai, leading to inefficient and decision-making process. Company B. It is a listed company. There was a lack of transparency and ethical practice. The company refrained from sharing profit figures which were necessary to finalize the corporate social responsibility budget. Company C. It is also a listed company. While conducting a social impact assessment survey, company insisted on not to disclosing its name, indicating the lack of transparency and accountability. Company D. There was no authorized complaint redressal mechanism as evident from the employee's response regarding the poorly maintained uh, workers' toilets. Company E. The company was unwilling to spend on environmental responsibility initiative as mandated by the terms of reference for their EIA report showing a lack of priority towards the sustainability. Company F is an automobile company. The practice of the Quality Circle Committee involving employees from all levels promoted inclusively and decision-making for operation improvements. Company G. There was positive com community participation as the company agreed to construct a paved road using the CSR budget addressing our local needs. Company H is a multinational company. The company demonstrates the true leadership agreeing to construct toilet in surrounding villages based on need assessment survey findings. Company I is a medium-sized company. The company followed a strong governance practice by recruiting local workers and supervisor for its expansion unit contributing to the societal progress. Last but not the least is a company J. The company positively influenced the external stakeholder by decorating at crossroad circle with uh, its brand philosophy with the permission of the local authorities. Overall, if you see, the journey across the various enterprises has revealed both strength and weakness in the current governance practice within India's industrial environment. 
the lesson learned underscored the need for business to internalize the principle of good governance transparency accountability inclusiveness and responsiveness as they chart their paths forward embracing their principle will not only drive financial growth but also contribute meaningful to societal progress aligning corporate success with social welfare within the esg framework this slide discusses the elements of governance for industries as an indian industry adopt esg framework implement robust governance mechanism is imperative governance provide the guiding policies process and structure that steer companies towards sustainability alongside financial growth key governance indicators like leadership transparency ethics accountability responsiveness and regulatory compliance can drive improved esg performance visionary leadership is a vital to ingrain esg commitment throughout the organization board must set the tone at the top through messaging incentives and leading by example executive compensation linked to the esg goal along side financial target reinforce priority appointing chief sustainability officer evaluate focus on the esg matters transparency and disclosure enabled informed stakeholder decisions integrated reported combining financial and esg data along with the third party audit built trust transparent political lobbying and advocacy also uphold governance credential embedding ethical orientation across operation is crucial codes of conduct ethics training and confidential reporting channel helps institutionalizing integrity responsible taxation and zero tolerance for corruption and bribery should be enforced accountability for esg failure is a critical through frameworks like national voluntary guidelines internal control risk monitoring audit and governance mechanism boost compliance standards like the global reporting initiative that is gri and the business responsibility sustainability reporting that is brsr providing reporting benchmarks responsive to societal needs cements esg legitimacy two way community engagement guides corporate community programs human rights impact assessment identify issues inclusive initiative uplift vulnerable groups influencing regulators and policy maker responsibly is expected industry association must balance members interest and with national priorities when advocating constructive policy dialogue add value to it while esg commitment remains voluntary some mandating regulations built for foundation compliance with factory environmental and labor laws is non negotiable mandates like corporate social responsibility that is csr spending and sustainability reporting will gain prominence effective and efficient esg implementation demonstrate credibility data driven monitoring esg linked executive pay and lean management optimize resource utilization and impact digital tools can strengthen information and system fairness and inclusivity lead to equitable outcomes and enduring partnership fairness and inclusivity lead to equitable outcomes and enduring partnership responsible supply chain practice enables small vendors growth gender and disability diversity indicates opportunities for all multi stakeholder participation and enable co creating solutions platform for employees communities and civil society interaction generate new insights investor briefing provide strategy update overall the indian industry must embrace governance as a strategic priority for successful esg adoption indicators like leadership transparency ethics accountability responsiveness and inclusivity should steer policy process and structures to balance profit and purpose visionary governance can make india's sustainable trail blazer
this slide discusses the four pillars of corporate governance. In the ever-evolving business landscape, corporate governance has emerged as a pivotal framework for ensuring organizational integrity, ethical conduct, and long-term sustainability. At its core, effective corporate governance is built upon four fundamental pillars, people, process, performance, and purpose. By aligning these four ele elements, organizations can foster a culture of transparency, accountability, and responsible decision-making, ultimately driving sustainable growth and value creation for all stakeholders. At the heart of every successful organization are its people. One can say, in the realms of corporate governance, people are undoubtedly the most valuable asset. Another way one can express that people are the heart and the soul of any organization and their role in shaping the corporate governance cannot be overstated. From the board of directors to top management, employees and stakeholders, each individual play a crucial part in upholding ethical standards and promoting responsible business practice. Thus, corporate governance emphasizes the importance of competent and diverse board of directors, executives, and employees. Effective governance mandate that individual possesses not only the requisitic skill and expertise, but also commitment to upholding the ethical standards and fiduciary responsibility. From the boardroom to the frontline employees, every individual play a crucial role in driving the organization towards its objective. Effective corporate governance recognizes the importance of nurturing the diverse and inclusive workforce where the talent is recognized, developed and empowered. Robust process and system are the backbone of effective corporate governance providing a structured approach to ethical decision making, risk management and performance monitoring. Robust process are the arteries through which corporate governance flows. Well-defined policies and procedures ensure consistency, mitigate risks, and foster operational efficiency. From financial reporting to risk management, effectiveness of processes determine the organization's ability to adapt to changing market dynamics and regulatory requirements. Efficient process are the lifeline of the corporate governance, ensuring that decisions are made promptly, risks are managed effectively, and compliance requirements are met. Robust process lay the groundwork for sound decision-making, transparency, and accountability, thereby mitigating likelihood of governance failures. Corporate governance is not a static concept. It requires continuous monitoring and evaluation to ensure that organizations are meeting their goals and objectives while upholding ethical standards and stakeholders' interests. Thus, measuring and managing performance lie at the core of the corporate governance. Shareholders and stakeholders alike rely on accurate performance metrics to assess the company's health and sustainability. From finance metrics like return on investment (ROI) to non-financial indicators such as social and environmental impact performance evaluation, shaped strategic decision making and drive organization growth. Thus today in the corporate world, performance is ultimate barometer of the corporate governance effectiveness reflecting the organization's ability to create long-term value for its stakeholders. It, encom it encompasses financial metrics, operational efficiency, innovation and social responsibility. A well-governed organization sets clear performance metric aligned with, with its strategic objective, regularly monitor progress and takes corrective action as necessary. In today's socially conscious business environment, organization must move beyond a singular focus on profitable and embrace a broader purpose that align with the societal value and stakeholders expectation. Beyond profit maximization, corporate governance underscores the importance of serving a broader societal purpose. Companies are increasingly expected to align their business strategies with societal needs and environmental stewardship. A clear sense of purpose not only enhances the brand reputation but also attracts talent and fosters customer loyalty. Thus today, 
the heart of the corporate governance lies the organization purpose a clear articulation for its re- reason deter beyond the profit making purpose driven organization are guided by a set of core values and principle that shapes decision making and behavior ethical leadership characterized by the integrity accountability and the commitment to stakeholders interest is a fundamental to fulfilling the organization purpose embedding the purpose into the corporate culture instills a sense of meaning and direction inspiring employees to align their action with the organization's broader objective moreover organization that prioritize purpose over short term gain are more resilient to crises and better equipped to navigate turbulent times earning the trust and the loyalty of their stakeholders now we shall discuss about the elements of the governance under the critical framework of evaluation in the ever evolving business scenario corporate governance has emerged as a critical framework that shapes and guide the behavior of corporations based on two main elements one is related to the governance lens and other is related to the governance policy in the current slide we will elaborate governance through the board lens fostering corporate business accountability in the realms of the modern corporate governance the board of directors plays a pivotal role in shaping the behavior of organization acting as a governance lens the board scrutinizes the action and decision of the ceo top management and the role of independent directors and employees ensuring adherence to ethical standards transparency accountability this comprehensive approach not only safeguard stakeholders interest but also foster a culture of responsible and sustainable business practice the ceo serve as a strategic leader public face of the organization setting the tone of corporate behavior the board's governance lens closely examine the ceo's decision making process leadership style and alignment with the company's value and long term objective through the regular performance evaluation executive compensation incentives and open dialogue the board can hold the ceo accountable for upholding the ethical conduct promoting transparency and driving sustainable growth incentives the board governance lens is extended beyond the ceo and compensating the action and initiative of the entire top management team the board evaluates the effectiveness of the management strategic planning risk management strategies and execution of the corporate policy by fostering an environment of open communication and constructive challenges the board can provide guidance and oversight ensuring that top management's efforts are aligned with the organization's governance principle and stakeholder interest effective governance recognizes that employees at all levels play a crucial role in shaping corporate behavior the board lens focuses on cultivating a corporate culture that encourages ethical conduct foster employees engagement and empowers individual to speak up against any unethical or illegal practices this includes evaluating the implementation of robust training program whistle blower policies and grievance mechanism ensuring that employees feel safe and supported in upholding the organization values the independent directors brings an outside perspective to the board room providing an objective and impartial lens on the corporate governance these individual appointed from diverse background and expertise can challenge the state quo asking probing question and offer fresh insight into the organization practice independent directors play a vital role in mitigating conflicts of interest promoting transparency and ensuring that the board decisions are made in the best interest of the stakeholder strengthening a diverse and well composed board is a better equipped to provide effective governance oversight by encouraging diversity in terms of gender ethnicity professional backgrounds and perspective the board can leverage a wealth of knowledge and experience the diversity foster a robust discussion challenging challenges ground thinking and enhance the board's ability 
to navigate complex governance challenges effectively. In ever evolving corporate landscape, the board governance lens must remain sharp and adaptable. Continuous education and development program equip board members with the latest knowledge and the best practices in the area such as sustainability, risk management, cyber security and emerging regulatory trends. This ongoing learning process ensured that the board remains well informed and capable of providing strategic guidance and effective oversight. Effective governance extended beyond the boardroom encompasses open and transparent communication with stakeholder. The board's lens should prioritize the regular stakeholder engagement, fostering dialogue with shareholders, employees, customers, and the broader community. By actively listening to diverse perspective and concern, the board can better understand the impacts of corporate decision and ensure that the organization action align with the stakeholder expectation and societal responsibilities. In conclusion, the board of directors serve as a crucial governance lens, scrutinizing corporate behavior from multiple perspectives. By holding the CEO, top management and employee accountable, fostering a culture of ethical conduct and leveraging the expertise of independent directors, the board play a pivotal role in shaping responsible and sustainable business practice. This is comprehensive approach not only enhancing organizational integrity and reputation but also contribute to longer term value creation for all stakeholders. In the ever-evolving landscape of modern business, effective governance policy have emerged as a crucial catalyst for driving sustainable growth and fostering a responsible corporate culture. These policies serve as a comprehensive framework that encompasses a broad range of principles and practice ensuring that the organization operates with transparency, accountability and deep commitment to environmental and social responsibility. Adherence to the rule of law formation of the foundation of effective governance policy. Organization must ensure strict compliance with relevant environmental regulation, labor law, and human rights standards, setting a stage of responsible and ethical business practice. This not only mitigate legal risk, but also demonstrate a genuine commitment to upholding the values of just and equitable society. Governance policy that encourages active participation from all stakeholders including employees, local communities, civil society, organizations and regulatory bodies foster a collaborative and inclusive decision making process. By embracing diversified perspective, companies can better understand and address the unique challenges and concerns of their stakeholders fostering trust and credibility. Transparency is a cornerstone of effective governance, enabling organizations to build trust and foster accountability. Companies should adopt robust reporting mechanisms, disclosing their environmental and social performance, governance structure, and decision-making process. This transparency empowers stakeholders to make informed decisions and hold organizations accountable for their action. Effective governance policy promote decentralization, empowering the local team and subsidiaries to make informed decisions that address context-specific challenges. This approach is an enhanced, responsive, and emblem enables tailored solution to meet the unique need of diversified stakeholders, fostering a more agile and adaptive organization culture. Governance framework must be responsive to the evolving needs and concerns of stakeholders. Establishing robust governance, redressal mechanism, and feedback channels ensure that issues are promptly addressed, fostering trust and credibility. This responsiveness not only strengthens the stakeholders' relationship but also enables organization to proactively address potential risks and challenges. Governance policy should strive the consensus-oriented decision making where diverse perspective are considered and compromise as reached in a collective interest of all stakeholders. This approach fosters a sense of shared ownership and commitment, ensuring that decisions are well informed and aligned with the organization's long-term sustainability goal. 
effective governance policy, prioritize robust redressal mechanism and governance cell. These channels empower stakeholders to voice concern, address issues transparently, and foster trust in an organization commitment to accountability and responsiveness. Prompting equity and inclusiveness is essential for creating a just and equitable society. Governance policy and prioritize equal opportunity, non-discrimination and the empowerment of the marginalized group, ensuring that no one is left behind in the pursuit of the sustainable development. This commitment to inclusivity not only enhances the organization's reputation but also fosters a diverse and innovative workforce. Governance policy must be designed for effectiveness and efficiency, optimizing the resource allocation and maximizing the positive impact. Continuous monitoring, evaluation and adaptation are necessary to ensure that the policy remains relevant and responsive to evolving challenges by adopting lean management practice and leveraging the digital tools, organization can streamline process and enhance the overall operational efficiency. Environmental and social framework at the core of effective governance policy lies a strong environmental social framework. This entails integrating principle of environmental stewardship, climate resilience, social responsibility and human rights into a core organization. Strategies and operation. By aligning these practices with these principles, companies can contribute to creation of a more sustainable and equitable world. Implementing comprehensive governance policy that encompasses these critical elements is not merely a comprehensive exercise, but a strategic imperative long-term success that will be later discussed in detail in the consecutive slides. The other concern issue is today's business scenario is related to strong governance policy emphasizing the importance of moral integrity and ethical business practice. Companies should implement robust codes of conduct, ethics training program and confidential reporting mechanism to encourage employees to uphold the highest standard of integrity and report any unethical or illegal activities. Besides, effective board oversight is a critical for ensuring accountability and aligning organization prioritize with the stakeholder's interest. Many governance frameworks advocate for split between the roles and CEOs and board chair, promoting independence and preventing potential conflicts of interest. Further, the governance policy should protect the, and promote the shareholder's right, including the right to nominate the board candidates and actively participate in decision-making process. This fosters transparency and accountability and align the interests of shareholders with those of organization. It often addresses stock buyback practice, ensuring that such activities are conducted transparently and in the best interest of shareholders and the long-term sustainability of the company. Accurate record keeping and robust auditing processes are essential component of effective governance. Companies should maintain comprehensive records of financial transaction, operational activities and decision making process, subject to regular internal and external audit to ensure compliance and transparency. Further, good governance policy should mandate the sharing and publishing of relevant information including financial report, sustainability performance and governance structure. This transparency enables stakeholders to make informed decision and hold organizations accountable. Continuing governance policy should extend beyond mere complex with legal and regulatory requirement. An activity-based approach to governance ensures that organizational practice, strategies and decision-making process are aligned with the ethical principle, sustainability goal, and stakeholder interest. By implementing this comprehensive governance policy that addresses these critical elements, organization can cultivate a culture of trust, integrity, and responsible business practice. This not only enhances their reputation and credibility, but also contributes to long-term sustainability growth and positive societal impact.
This slide explains the responsibility towards the planet, emphasizing business entity responsibility towards controlling the environmental parameters. Today, all over the world, each business entity production unit have exerted a significant toll on the environment, threatening the direct balance of our planet's ecosystem. Carbon emission and greenhouse gas emission from production facilities contribute significantly to climate change, leading to global warming, sea level rise, and extreme weather events. The concept of the carbon credit and offset has emerged as a potential solution, encouraging companies to reduce their carbon footprint and invest in sustainability initiatives. However, achieving net zero emission remains a formidable challenge that requires collective efforts from all stakeholders. Natural resource management, particularly regarding the water and land, is another pressing concern. Industrial activities often deplete and contaminate these vital resources, jeopardizing the sustainability of our ecosystem and the well-being of local communities. Responsible resource management practices such as water conservation, efficient land use, and sustainable exploration method are crucial for mitigating these impacts. Pollution control measures are essential to address the air, water, and noise pollution generated by the industrial operation. Effective waste management strategies, including the proper handling and disposal of hazardous waste, are crucial to safeguarding the public health and preserving the integrity of our environment. Energy conservation and adoption of the renewable energy sources, such as tidal and ocean wave power, wind, and solar, offer promising alternative to the fossil fuel. By transitioning towards the clean energy, industries can reduce their carbon footprint and contribute to a more sustainable future. Biodiversity efforts, including the establishment of green belt, green logistic, and the use of green raw material, not only preserve the natural habitat, but also promote the ecosystem resilience. Additionally, local level innovation in products and services can significantly reduce environmental impact of industrial activities. Addressing the ill effects of the industrialization requires a multifaceted approach involving government policies, corporate responsibilities, and individual action largely based on the pattern of individual entity governance strategies. The governance strategy involves all pair with the rules and responsibility in the hierarchy setup right from the board of directors to CEO to top and middle level management, each exercising their power in setting up the desired objective, for example, reducing carbon emission or footprint and allocating budgets. Understanding the current production process, that is a very technical, is crucial based on which the upper level management make a decision about adopting technology and methodology for evaluation such as TCFD, GRI, or CDSB for pre and the post benchmarking and data collection of carbon emission. Subsequently, can enumerate the benefit of the technology and its impact, which may be rewarded by the governing system of our country as well as within the entity by disseminating result at both level, national and international level. After setting the target to reduce the carbon emission, within the specific time frame and narrating the long-term policy implication, upper-level management play a vital role. It is very difficult to set a clear guidelines for governance strategy concerning the ESG framework of evaluation for the environment. However, based on experience, an attempt has been made to present this hypothetical model which will help business entities with some ideas to set up the governance strategy for controlling the environmental parameters under the ESG framework. Within the environmental, social and governance framework, the social dimension necessitates a comprehensive governance approach aimed at enhancing well-being and improving quality of life. In this regard, we had developed into key social elements under the purview of various social sectors. Governance policy should center on fostering a supportive and inclusive work environment conducive to employee well-being and professional growth. This entails implementing fair labor practice, ensuring gender equality, 
and facilitating opportunities for skill enhancement and career progression. Beyond the organization, responsible governance extended to positively impacting the life of external stakeholders, particularly local communities, employing demand-based approach to identify community needs and concern allowing tailoring of CSR initiative effectively. This not only build trust and goodwill, but also contribute overall community development. Welfare and right-based approach, upholding the human rights and promoting gender equality and fundamental social sustainable principles, governance framework should mandate adherence to international human rights convention and national level law, ensuring fair treatment non-discrimination and equal opportunity for all stakeholders. Establishing robust grievance redressal mechanism and open communication channel empowers employee to voice concern and seek timely resolution. Companies should aim to obtain relevant certification and recognition showing their commitment to ethical and social responsible practice. Addressing the infrastructure and service need of the local communities is crucial. Companies contribute to develop essential amenities such as healthcare facilities, education institution, and transportation network, thereby enhancing residents' overall quality of life. Collaborative efforts with authorities and stakeholders facilitate sustainable and impactful initiatives. best mechanism for resolving conflicts and addressing grievances related to environment and social issues are imperative establishing dedicated channel for stakeholders feedback mediation process and clear lines for accountability can mitigate potential conflict and foster trust among all involved parties proactive engagement and transparent communication are essential for effective disputes prevention and resolution thus Comprehensive governance strategies for addressing social elements under ESG framework should encompass several key areas. Now it becomes apparent to devise a separate corporate social policy to show commitment for creating positive social impact. Thus, through strategic partnership, employ volunteering initiative and target social investment to uplift underprivileged section and drive inclusive growth. Prioritize employee well-being, fair labor practice, non-discrimination, and a safe working environment. Establishing grievance mechanism, promote diversity and inclusion, and often competitive benefits and professional development opportunities. Implement robust policies on business ethics, code of conduct, and zero tolerance for corruption and bribery. Offer regular training and whistleblower protection and transparent report mechanism to foster an ethical corporate culture. Encouraging employee participation and engagement through open communication channel, suggestion scheme, and platform for voicing concern and idea. This fosters ownership and contribute to employee well-being and productivity. Outline clear performance metrics and benchmark for social responsibility includes employee satisfaction, community impact, and human rights compliance. Regular monitoring, audits, and third-party assessment ensure accountability and continuous improvement. Prioritize community engagement, need assessment, and demand-based social responsibility initiatives. Regular consultation, impact assessment, and transparent reporting build trust and strengthen the company's social licensing to operate. Mandate the collection, analysis, and sharing of data related to social performance, including workforce, demographic, community impact, and human rights due diligence. Transparent reporting and disclosure foster accountability and stakeholder trust. Include protocol for identifying and mitigating potential social conflict, grievance redressal mechanism, and mediate process. Proactive stakeholder engagement, impact assessment, and collaborative problem solving can help prevent and resolve antagonistic situation. Overall, effective governance strategy for addressing social element under the ESG framework necessitate a holistic prioritizing 
employee and community well-being ethical conduct participation performance best marking community engagement data transparency and proactive management of conflict and antagonism now we shall discuss governance performance under the esg framework for evaluation implementing robust governance mechanism is imperative as indian industries adopt esg framework governance provides policy process and structure guiding companies towards sustainability alongside the financial growth key indicators like leadership transparency ethics and participation in action of being actively involved in any desired task within and outside the production unit it is equally as responsive where it is quick action towards the demand of people that are influenced to make change through direct or indirect strategy but usually important way thus responsiveness to societal needs fair supply change practice and multi stakeholder participation enhances the esg legitimacy the governor strongly support regulatory or rule by law to the control or direction of any operational activity in adherence to the set of rules laws etc mentioned in the company act of our country here it is also include accountability is a crucial through framework like nvg supported by internal control and governance mechanism further the corporate governance gives much impetus to outcome which is just with effectiveness efficiency producing a desired result that is expected from a capable or efficient players in the company all these elements of governance leads to equity that ensures the company process and program are impartial fair and provide equal possible outcome for every individual the sad description is very fundamental nature of governance however it remained unanswered or one can say that there is a lot of ambiguity on how companies can implement esg into their corporate governance framework the first is related to the formulating the policy for implementing esg into corporate governance framework to establish a clear policy that outline the company's commitment to esg principles this policy should articulate the company's esg priorities goal and metrics for measuring progress to develop an effective esg policy company should engage with stakeholders to understand their expectation and concern besides uh, there should be clear objective to set esg into corporate governance framework with the provision of a sufficient budget to execute the esg policy into actionable strategy to achieve the desired result of the set targets of environment and social task articulating with the governance strategies another is the company top level management should prepare an extensive plan having the knowledge and expertise needed to assess the esg risk and opportunities this can be operationalized by providing training on esg issues appointing directors with the certified esg experts and establishing an esg committee to oversee esg related risk and opportunities the top level management should have a clear strategy about the type of information collected with the advent of the technology set as per the objective to know the impact of the pre and the post data collected using scientific method report the esg performance regularly with the concerned stakeholders and concerned authorities this can include disclosing esg risk opportunities and performance metrics in annual reports and other communication the company should also keep a provision to disclose the esg information at the international level using internationally recognized esg reporting framework such as gri or sabs this will help to ensure that companies are disclosing relevant and comparable information further regular engagement with both internal and external stakeholders on esg issue can help companies to build trust and enhance their reputation besides bodies like ngos industrial association and other stakeholder to understand their perspective on esg issues and to identify opportunities for collaboration integrating esg consideration into risk management can help companies identify and mitigate esg related risk 
This can include incorporating EAG factor into risk assessment and scenario planning exercise. By considering EAG risk factor in risk management, companies can identify potential risks such as reg- regulatory change, reputational damage, or supply chain disruption that could impact their long-term success. Further, to integrate ESG into corporate governance framework, companies should amend ESG consideration into their business strategy. This can include identifying new business opportunities that align with the ESG priorities, such as developing sustainable product or services. By amending ESG into business strategy, companies can create value over the long term by anticipating future trends and responding to changing stakeholders' expectations. Overall, implementing ESG into corporate governance framework is a critical step for companies seeking to create long-term value and manage risk. However, it will vary according to the nature and the type of company conducting business as listed and non-listed companies. Well, this is the last slide where we will discuss challenges of governance in ESG framework. As the corporate setup evolves, embracing environmental, social and governance principle has become a strategic imperative of organization to drive sustainable growth and create long-term value for stakeholders. However, integrating governance into ESG framework presents a unique set of challenges that companies must navigate to achieve meaningful and measurable progress. Defining corporate governance in ESG with verifiable indicator, one of the initial challenges lies in finding a comprehensive and widely accepted framework that clearly defines corporate governance within the ESG context. While various organizations such as Global Reporting Initiative and Sustainability Accounting Standard Board have proposed guidelines, there is a need for a standardized approach at country level that includes verifiable indicators for measuring and reporting governance related performance. Effective performance requires robust mechanism for measuring and tracking performance across various dimensions including board composition, executive compensation, risk management and stakeholder engagement. Companies must develop rigorous metrics and key performance indicators that is KPI that accurately capture their governance practice and enable benchmarking against the industry's peers and the best practices. Assessing reliable and consistent governance data and insights can be a significant challenge, particularly for the companies operating across multiple jurisdictions with varying regulatory framework and disclosure requirement. Integrating Diverse data source, ensuring data quality, and extracting actionable insight requires sophisticated analytical tool and expertise. Governance practice have a profound impact on the organization reputation and stakeholder trust. Companies must implement mechanisms to track stakeholder sentiments, understand evolving expectations, and respond promptly to concern or Criticism, monitoring and managing the reputational risk is crucial for maintaining stakeholder confidence and ensuring long-term sustainability. Effective governance is closely tied to risk management and companies must develop comprehensive risk assessment and mitigation strategy that encompasses ESG-related risk. Visualizing and controlling these risks through robust governance framework, internal control and reporting mechanism is essential for proactive risk management and stakeholder assurance. Measuring the financial performance, a competitive measurement of governance in the market economy, while the importance of good governance is widely acknowledged, establishing a direct correlation between the corporate governance practice and financial performance remains a challenge. Companies must navigate the complexity of the measuring the financial impact of the governance initiative and benchmarking their performance against the industry peer and the market leaders. Additionally, there is no established relationship between corporate governance and the market value of a company. Factors such as industry, dynamic macroeconomic conditions and investor sentiment can influence market valuation, making it difficult to isolate the direct impact of governance practice on a company's market value. 
In the previous discussion, we explored the environmental and social aspect, complemented by the hypothetical model based on experience, presenting ideas for business entities to develop governance strategies within the ESG framework. However, in today's India's business fraternity, sustainable ESG reporting has emerged as a necessity for commercial activity. Thus, ESG reporting serves as a measurable benchmark to evaluate a company's performance, influencing its rating on the stock exchange. So stay tuned for the next week insightful presentation where we will dive deeper into the sustainable ESG reporting for India. Till then, best wishes and stay safe. Bye-bye.